Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another Wednesday here conversation with my good friend, Beth English. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's been in my head and also in the head of many of the artists that I'm working in my coaching program, which is how to avoid Instagram scams. So that's the topic. It's going to be good. But before that, let's say hello to Beth. How are you, Beth? Good to see you. Welcome from my log cabin studio in Nashville, Tennessee. It looks great. It looks awesome. It looks really cool. First of all, I, you know, when you when we first connected here on Zoom, I thought it was a virtual background. <laughs> and you're like, no, that's my real background. Like, oh, that is pretty cool. <laughs> it's so it's definitely real. Ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> there so, you go. I thought I would change it up and and speak to you guys from this place because mm-hmm. it's my new my new studio and I'm very happy to be here. So super. How excited. Thank you for having us also, um, you know, visiting your space there in your studio. That's always lovely. And uh, good that you're back also in Nashville and enjoying the good weather and the good company, the good friends. We look forward to more of that. So, and uh, well, eventually we have to make our way over to Nashville too, uh, hopefully very soon. So, so. yeah, I hope so. So today let's talk about, again, this topic of Instagram scams or uh, fake messages or things like that with IC. There has been an increase recently, you know, with all the artists that I work in my coaching program, you know, there's been a lot of questions like, you know, certain messages, sometimes they they send me a screenshot of a message that they're getting. And, um, you know, when you see that over and over, it's like, okay, there's something up here, you know, and uh, I think we have all uh, received sometimes messages on Instagram that are like, well, I wonder if this is true or I wonder if it's legit. I wonder, you know, those are wonders. So I wanted to give, uh, you know, some kind of like some red flags to look for as you are uh, engaging with people on Instagram. How does that sound? We need to hear this, you know, because so often they're really good at confusing us with (laughs) what's real and what's not. And so I think that this is such a timely and important uh, conversation today. So can't wait to hear Excellent. So the first thing I want to say is, uh, first of all, you know, when you get a message, an inquiry, like somebody that loves your art or things like that, even if it sounds maybe scammy, always reply. I think uh, the first thing I think you should always test the waters. You never know, right? When it might be a good or not. And never just say just because you go, let's say you receive a message that somebody loves your art and, you know, quite interested. But then you, of course, you look into their profile and it's somebody that has nothing uh, of art related on their profile doesn't mean it's a scam, right? There's a lot of art lovers, there's a lot of art collectors who have nothing related to art on their Instagram and they're legit. So, you know, uh, the first thing to to look at is what we're, we're trying to decide. Don't don't decide too early or too soon that this, this is a scam. Always, I would say, reply to all the inquiries at least one time and then, then see what's the next step. So I don't know. I don't know if you get also those kinds of uh, uh, inquiries sometimes, Beth, and uh, you're like, well, I don't know. Let me test the waters. Let me see. Let me take it one step further. Yeah, I mean, I think we all have to use our own discernment to know whether or not it's something that we should reply or not reply to. So I think if you have even an ounce of curiosity, go mm-hmm. ahead and reply. But sometimes it's pretty obvious, <laughs> yeah. and you know, you can just go ahead and delete those. But yeah, they're getting pretty good at (laughs) getting our attention for sure. Exactly. And of course, you know, I'm not talking about the ones where, you know, somebody, you know, that, uh, you know, somebody coming after you or somebody, uh, you know, just just like a um, um, annoyance, things like that. I'm talking about like the ones that come like they're looking specifically looking at your art, right? Those Mm -hmm. are the ones that I'm, I'm really particularly interested about. So some of the typical ones that we're seeing right now is when uh, uh, you get a message that somebody complains your art, you know, they love your art, you know, looks great, looks amazing. Um, and they would love to feature your art, right? The, the mm-hmm. favorite one, we love to feature your art. And so what does that mean? Usually they leave it as we just want to feature your art, right? So that you get excited so that you get like, oh, let me see what this is. So once you reply on that and uh, so then they send you the package, okay? So for example, uh, one post will cost you $30, you know, two posts, uh, 25 each, etc. right? So uh, it is definitely um, when an account wants to feature your art for a fee. And what happens often is then the artist goes and clicks on that you know, person's profile and they see that that page has like 500,000 followers or, you mm-hmm. know, 300,000 followers and they get excited like, oh, you know, 
this looks good. Maybe I should do it because you go in there. Oh, there's a lot of other artists who are there. Um, so I always, you know, when when those come in and when I talk to artists, like you always got to be very careful because anybody can open an account today, buy followers and buy likes for every post. And that doesn't mean that it is a legit, you know, page that definitely wants to share your art. And especially when they're trying to sell you money. I'm sure you have gotten some of those, but. Yes. <laughs> yeah. and, you, and you got think, all of them. <laughs> I think it's important to know, like, well, what's your own goals? Like, is it to grow your following in that way? Because potentially you could be growing it with an audience that's not going to be as engaging. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just like a, a certain strategy, right? And so you have to think about, well, if I did this, if I paid this money, what would feel like success to me if mm-hmm. I spent this money? And, you know, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it is worth it just for you to learn a lesson. You know, I think, sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I think we can try things out and, you know, use our best judgment. But at the end of the day, um, there's a, there's other strategies that I think professionals are using that don't um, require you to have to you know, pay money to accounts, but. Mm -hmm. And and there's nothing wrong with uh, influencer marketing where you find a bigger page that wants to feature your work and, you know, you pay them, that is fine. Uh, The the key here is to find when you look at an account that's big and uh, how do you know if it's a legit one where you say, okay, well, maybe, uh, you know, whatever X amount of money you spend on that uh, will actually be something that uh, might be worthwhile or not. And one thing I think you mentioned the word uh, engagement. Always, always, no matter how many followers an account has, always look for the engagement. Engagement is the key. Engagement Mm -hmm. is the meter, you know, to know if that page is worth what it's showing or not, right? You can have a page with 20,000 followers that has huge amount of engagement, which would be a much, much better, you know, partnership with than a page that has 250,000, 500,000, or maybe a million followers but has no engagement. All you see is like, click, 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 you know, like, like tons of likes mm-hmm. and, and that's it. Nobody's talking. So, you know, in those cases, I would say be very careful because uh, oftentimes, you know, uh, the artist pays a fee, they get their little picture there, but there was nothing. Maybe they got a couple of followers <laughs> in return and who knows if they came from that or not. Um, just because again, that, that page has no engagement that is legit as people actually engaging with the art. There's a lot of art pages where just people like, you know, mm-hmm. people like they are because they're cool, you know, or they have memes or stuff like that, colorful, but not really if you're looking really to grow um, audience on your own and bring in the people that what you want to do is look for um, people that you can partner with that have an engaged audience, right? That they are, the audience that they have is interacting with them on the post that they put out there. That's when you have much, much better luck than if you have a giant page with no engagement. So uh, that would be one red flag to look at as well. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, the numbers are enticing to think, Mm -hmm. oh, look at all those people I could get in front of because we measure a lot by what they have this many Instagram followers. That means that they're X, Y, Z or whatever, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. And to just be careful with, you know, is this your audience? Are these the types of people you're trying to reach? Just because it's a lot of people doesn't mean it's the right people. Exactly. Absolutely. And another one, another type of email that also is coming a lot from, um, uh, for artists is uh, an email in which uh, they invite you also, I suppose, gallery is interested in your work and they want you to engage with them, either uh, also pay some sort of fee to show in their gallery or, uh, you know, they have some other thing. Uh, so it's particularly when it is a gallery that you have no immediate access to, that maybe it's another part of the world and that, uh, you know, you're wondering, is this really legit? And uh, so once, uh, you know, a piece of advice I always give artists is do uh, your diligence of also uh, Googling that gallery, you know, not just on Instagram, but everywhere, go to Google, mm-hmm. go to Facebook, go to, you know, every everybody leaves a digital um, footprint these days, you know, particularly if you're at an actual gallery, uh, every show that you have, every, you know, pre-release that you put out there, you put, a, you leave a footprint. Mm-hmm. So you can track the footprint of an actual gallery and the activity that they have done and maybe the artists that they have show. So if you have, 
you know, an invitation like this and, and there's nothing there, right? And there's nothing to find. Um, I would be eerie and I would be uh, very careful, you know, in such cases because, you know, it might be something that, uh, you know, might be a scam or might be something that you might want to be very, very careful with. Yeah, a little research goes a long way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just, you know, look into it and then see. A lot of times when um, some of these scams come up, they'll post it in our group and say, hey, you guys, you know, I got this email or message and this is what they were saying, just a heads up, you know, right. if you get something like this. So I like that we are pointing them out and just getting people aware that these things right. do exist. So, you know, at least mm -hmm. be on the lookout if you're getting these. Absolutely. And there's, there's always, I, I, you know, it still beats me that this particular one is still alive and seems like it's alive and well, cause they're still using it. That means uh -huh. artists are still getting caught on this one to where like, you know, I looked at your art, my wife's anniversary is coming up and I saw her looking at your Instagram page. And the truth is that if it's still out there, it's because it still works, right? Such a great and script, huh? They haven't this. changed the script. That means they're still catching people on it. So uh, again, be wary about those things, you know, be aware of, as Beth said, you know, if you're on a, on a community of artists, always be on the lookout for what are some of the trends? What are some of the, you know, the particular things? Because if, if they're still around, it's because they're still working. That's why mm -hmm. they're still sending it out. Uh, and not only they used to come just through email, now they're going through Instagram and doing the similar thing, you know, where now, um, even if the message is different, the person wants to pay you in his or her own terms instead of on your own terms. If you are the right. seller, you decide how you're going to be, you know, charging and, and uh, getting paid for, you know, I don't go to an Apple store and say, well, I want to pay with, uh, you know, X, Y, and C, you know, it has to be done with the way in which they have created their system to work. So in, in similar ways, you know, as an artist, beware on the lookout of those things. Always put yourself in, you are the one who decides the terms of sale and the person who wants your art, they have to abide by those. Now, that doesn't mean that you, you know, you may enter in a conversation or so, but always be careful with those things. I'm always see a red flag on those. And again, the reason I'm bringing it up is because even though we know it, it's still happening, you know, because mm -hmm. I see it often and I see it more of an increase in recent months. So, um, you know, something to be really, really on the lookout for. And also, you know, as we talk about this, and maybe a, a bit of a short episode, but, you know, to also help each other out, you know, call out these things. When you receive something like this, maybe take a screen, and it's a scam, take a screenshot of the message, put it up in your stories, artists be aware, you know, so that thing, the more as a community, we help each other to be protected. We help each other against these uh, scammers and these things, you know, more people can um, be safe from such things. Yeah, see something, say something. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So that's about it. Uh, but again, not a whole, a whole lot of, uh, um, you know, um, uh, in-depth conversation, but certainly something that I was uh, looking at, I'm looking at, uh, is getting quite a bit uh, heavy lately. And uh, a lot of artists, you know, maybe getting caught in the middle of this. So wanted to bring it up to the attention of everyone. Keep it safe. Keep safe, my friend. Help each other out. And uh, let's make uh, our art count and be counted for. So... Thank you, yes, my friends. Sure. Thank you, Beth, <laughs> for joining on this. So uh, tell our friends, where can they find you on uh, social media? You guys can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Beth English. That's B-E-T-H-I-N-G-L-I-S-H. And find us on Facebook and Instagram, the Nashville Creative Group. That's at Nashville Creative Group. So hopefully we can connect on there. I'd love to you know, talk with you about your art and uh, get to know more about you. What about you, Sergio? Super. Well, my friends, you can find me everywhere at Sergio Gomez Art. And uh, something I'm doing for this summer, every uh, couple, every just about every couple of weeks or so, I'm doing a live uh, webinar training on Instagram, like the four things that you should be doing on Instagram right now. Uh, to make the most of the algorithm to promote your art, to sell your art and so on. So those are the four things that I'm doing every week and they, they work really well. So you want to take a, you know, a part of that, which is live. It's not a pre-recorded one. It's live. I'm there. I answer your questions there on the spot. Just go to theartistnextlevel.com right slash Insta21. So Insta21 on the right of 
theartistnextlevel.com. Hope to see you there. It's going to be super cool. I have one coming up, uh, I think, in a week or so. And uh, it's the summer session. So I'm repeating the same one to help as many artists as well with the strategies they can use on Instagram to grow and to sell more of their art. So And avoid these scams that we all uh, are you know, being attacked by every day. Yes. Love awesome. it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll see you next Wednesday. And mm -hmm. I will have a great rest of your week. Goodbye. Bye.